Okay, good morning. Welcome to the um, Saints versus Jaguars uh, preview. We're previewing the Saints versus Jaguars this coming Sunday. Um, the game will be on, um, I think it's going to be on CBS or either Fox. Um, Saints and Jaguars is noon. Um, I'm looking at this game. I'm going to say this about the New Orleans Saints. Look, they come in. Sure, the Jaguars right now are at um, coming into the game at um, two and three on the season, but the Saints coming in at four and one. That is something right there. That's a matchup right there. Uh, I look at it this way. Uh, came up on the schedule. Um, this game, look, uh, sure. Um, you got Teddy Bridgewater. I don't know if Drew Brees is going to come back. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to come back. He, um, sources are saying he might not come back. He's not ready to come back yet. I mean, look, you got to re fully recover from a thumb injury in order to um, um, be ready. Because the doctors have to uh, approve you and say you have to be ready. So if you're ready. So um, we still have Teddy Bridgewater. Um in the um, game, so I, I look at um, I look at the Jacksonville offense this year. They're not kind of they're kind of they're two and three this year and just sloppy. Let's go ahead and give you the breakdown on it. Uh, let's begin. Okay, let's begin uh, with team rankings. We'll rank both teams. Okay. Um, when it comes to uh, points scored, the Saints are. Um, uh, 14th, uh, Jacksonville is 17th. Uh, they are um, um, matchups right there. Um, when it comes to points allowed, the Saints are um, ranked um, 17th in the um, in the NFL and also 18th for the Jacksonville Jaguars with 118 points. So both teams um, score over 100 points. But here's the thing. They give um, away over 100 points as well. Now, uh, turnover uh, the, um, ratio, um, that's turnover um, ratio. Uh, Saints are um, plus one in the turnover ratio. Jacksonville is minus four in the turnover ratio. So minus four is kind of not good. They're ranked 24th, so the Saints are ranked 14th. Uh, passing yards per game, Saints are ranked um, 16th with 244 yards. Uh, Jacksonville is ranked 10th, so I, I would say Jacksonville right now is kind of coming in with the uh, slight edge on in the game. Now, running the football, the Saints are ranked 20th. Um, Jacksonville is ranked 8th. So right now, uh, I have to tell you the in this video, um, the Saints um, is um, has does not have a good running game, but it's getting there. It's getting there at times with Alvin Kamara and um, uh, Batavius Murray. That's um, one um, positive right there. Now, um, when it comes to um, pass defense, the Saints are ranked 19th. Um, Jacksonville is ranked 18th. Uh, with 245 um, yards given up, uh, that's on passing yards. Now, on run yards, the um, Saints are ranked 16th, and Jacksonville is ranked 25th against the run. So, I'm kind of looking at this um, scenario right here in this game, in this uh, game Sunday. And, and, and if we could stop Jacksonville's running game, uh, that would be the... Uh, the caveats right there so um that is your um uh, breakdown right there okay let's give you um your full leaders let's give you the for the jacksonville jaguars i'm about to do that let me give you um their full um breakdown i'm gonna give you uh jacksonville's um breakdown let's give you their um their passing okay they're passing um uh, they're passing for 1,273 yards on 115 completions. They have um, 99 first downs. That's on. Um, uh, also, they have 10 touchdowns and one interception. So they kind of um, their passing game is um, kind of 
pretty um, stout um, on the um, stats. Let's look at it. on the rankings. It's um, say uh, they rank temp, so they're kind of coming in with a temp um, best passing attack uh, in the uh, NFL. Now, average drives the um, uh, Jacksonville Jaguars have it at the 24-yard line. They um, they drives uh, and at 240 um, on their um, and the plays is 5.57 and let's see the points is 1.945. Okay, their last um, let's give you their last um, their results. Okay, the last results against uh, the Carolina Panthers. They kind of um, um, I guess Carolina they had 20. 27 points, 34-27. Uh, they did lose the game against the Carolina Panthers. Um, uh, they had um, 28 um, first downs. They had um, 100, 507 yards. Um, um, a total yards of offense, 358 through the air, 149 on the ground. Three turnovers in that game versus the um Carolina Panthers. So they did lose that game last Sunday. Um, so the defense gave up um, 22 first downs as well. They gave up um, 445 yards. So they gave up 445 yards against the uh, Carolina Panthers. They also had 160 yards passing um, and also 285 rushing. So they kind of gave up the um, um, common denominator of 285 yards. So, so I'll be honest with you. Look, they had no turnovers, um, but they had um, um, in a football game last Sunday. So I look at it this way. Look, if you can um, come in, the Saints defense can come in, make the plays, and not um, – uh, giving ends to this team, Buck. I think they can beat this team, but to be honest with you, Buck, it's going to take a lot of effort. Um, let's give you their uh, red zone um, offense. I'm going to give you their red zone efficiency. Uh, red zone efficiency, they're at um, 43%. They're um, 7 of 16 in the red zone. So they're kind of 7 of 16 in the red zone. So Jacksonville, I'm going to be honest with you, they're at 43%. Now, on um, third downs, they're at 32%. They're not that good on third down. So they only 20 of um, a 61, 20 of 61. Uh, fourth downs, they're um, 3 of 4 for 75%. So Jacksonville will be coming in. I mean, sure, some um, offensive numbers is kind of shaky. Some defensive numbers are kind of um, so. Um, on red zone defense, they give up 8 of um, 16 for 50%. So they kind of, uh, the team's offense um, in the red zone is ranked 28. So they're 28 in the red zone. So they kind of, the ranked offense, um, the ranked defense, uh, that's um, they're ranked 10. So they don't give up that many um, third downs. Uh, on defense, they give up 41%. That's 27 of 65. Also, um, one of three on fourth down conversions. So that's something right there. Um, in, their, in their game last Sunday versus um, the Carolina Panthers. Now, Denver, they played against Denver. So I'm, I'm looking at this um, these conversions right here. This 43% right here, this 7 of 16, they can score. That can absolutely score. So, now, this is their quarterback from last week, Garner um, Michal. Garner Michal. Let's pull his numbers up. I'm going to see what I'm going to give you on his numbers. Okay, Garner Michal last week, uh, he threw for uh, 100 and uh, threw for 160. Um, he threw for 1279, so he's got nine touchdowns. So that's one of their quarterback. They were supposed to have Nick Foles in there, but I think he's uh, injured. Um, so he played um, 
five games. So he's playing the entire five game um, slate. Now, uh, his um, quarterback rating is 105.6. So this is uh, one of their quarterbacks right here, Gardner um, Minshaw. Minshaw, I'm saying his name right. <laughs> uh, he throws um, uh, 110 out of 165 passes. So kind of, look, he's, his quarterback completion percentage is at um, 66%. So he's kind of good and perfect right there. Now, they're, wide, they're running backs and wide receivers. Uh, Leonard Fournette's still uh, playing for them. Leonard Fournette, uh, that's one of you guys, the former LSU player. He has, um, he has um, 95 carries for 512 yards. He's averaging 5.4. His yards per game is uh, 102. He catches um, 20 balls for uh, 143. So he's a good catch and wide receiver. So he's also, it's uh, yards from scrimmage. He's got um, 655 yards from scrimmage. He's also got 115 touches. So he gets the ball the most of the time. Now, so he's leading the team right there um, in running running um, the football. So he's leading the team. Uh, they, they, ain't got, they ain't got some of them uh, this guy, um, Raquel, um, uh, let's see, Raquel, um, Armstrong also has 10 carries for 48 yards. He's averaging 4.8, uh, but he is targeted. So, they're wide receivers and, um, for, um, um, Jacksonville is Deuce, uh, Westbrook, he has, um, 37 targets, he has, um, 23 catches, 227 yards. So that's one guy that's going to be the concerning factor for the Saints. Now, DJ Chalk, former LSU um, uh, wide receiver, he also has 37 targets. He's targeted 27 times. He also has um, uh, 18 yards per catch. He averages 485 yards. And we'll show you his full stats right here. Um, his uh, total yards is um, 485. That's on his um, touches right there from the scrimmage. Now, Chris uh, Conley uh, also has um, 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 14 catches for 243. He's averaging 17.4. Um, he has a touchdown. So that's the, that's the guy's. You're gonna to have to watch is um, Westbrook, Armstrong, and sometimes Chark. Chark is gonna catch the ball literally. Chark is gonna get targeted a lot, a lot of times. Now, um, James O'Shannery, a Shan, a Shaggery, I'm saying his name right. Uh, he's been targeted 20 times. He has 14 catches for 153 yards. Um, also, Jeff um, Swan, Swim, that's, um, it, it sounds like Swan, but it's Swim, um, Swan, uh, he has um, um, 12 catches for 60 yards, so he own, don't have a touchdown, but he can literally catch the ball at, at, at any given time. So I'll be honest with you, this wide receiver core for the um, Jacksonville Jaguars, look, they are... They had some stout wide receivers in in, in their um, um in their wide receiver core that will catch the football. So that's one thing about it. Um, Raquel Armstrong, like I said, he is uh, so your three your two running backs is Armstrong and uh, Fournette. But um, your running backs I just highlighted is um, Westbrook, Chalk, uh, Conley. O'Shaggery, oh, 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 I'm not saying his name, it, and Swan. So that's um, the wide receivers for the um, Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, the defensive guys. Okay, let's give you their sack um, leaders. Uh, this is in, in their football game, just the main guys. These guys will catch the football uh, at nauseum. Now, uh, you may, um, they got sacks. They have 16 sacks 
as a team. 16 sacks as a football team. The main guys are getting sacks is Campbell. He has three. Allen, he has three. And Smoke, uh, Dwight, um, Dwayne uh, Smoke, that's S-M-O-O-T, he has two. So that's your main guys right there on that defense that's going to be very, very stingy. I mean, sure, they got um, the defense, I'm going to tell you, the defense right now, let's pull up the uh, stat again, um, um, rank um, 18th, so they rank 18th, so they're kind of in the top 20 right now, they're not wowing anybody, but they can make some plays at any time. So I kind of look at it this way. Look, the Saints are going to have to be on its um, best game uh, versus Jacksonville. If they're going to win this game, I know they can beat Jacksonville because Jacksonville right now is absolutely on a um, on a downward spiral right now. They're two and three. So let's give it a uh, touchdown logs. Their last game, okay, against Carolina, DJ Chalk caught one that was from 37 yards out. Um, so I'm looking at his um, game log numbers. I, I'm going to be honest with you. This guy right here will be your um, primary target that um, that Saints um, go after. Um, let's pull this up. Okay. Um, also, uh, he caught an 11-yard touchdown. Uh, that was in the game versus... Um, um, so he can catch those um, big, he can make those explosive plays. That's one thing you, the Saints have to stop uh, doing is giving up big plays. Because you give up big plays, guess what? You're going to be on the field all day long. So I'm going to tell you right now, uh, the Saints team's got to don't give up those big plays. Now let's give you their, um, their um, breakdown. I'm going to give you their... Um, their offensive splits, I'm going to give you their um, breakdowns on their offensive splits. So let's go ahead and give you that. Um, okay, in the first quarter, I'm going to give you their first quarter um, breakdown. Okay. Um, first quarter on breakdown. Um, they run the ball for uh, 27 carries for 99 yards, but they also throw for 321 yards. That's on 36 um, attempts. That's in the first quarter. So that's going to be... Your, um, the Saints assignment is stopping the run, stopping the pass. That's in the first quarter. You have to be uh, a little consistent in that first quarter. Now, second quarter, let's break it down for you. Second quarter, um, um, Saints get um, the um, Jacksonville Jaguars defense um, offense. Excuse me, excuse me, offense. I don't want to mess this up. Uh, offense, um, uh, 20, carries the ball 26 times for 82 yards. They throw the ball 48 times for 357. So the second quarter, they're going to be a good second quarter team and score points. But they get sacked three times in the first quarter and four times in the uh, second quarter. So that's the concerns right there by quarters. Now, um... Let's see. Rushing the football uh, in the third quarter, Saints um, have to get, have to um, they have to be concerned about these uh, averages right here. Jacksonville runs the ball for 239 yards on 35 carries. That's in the um, third quarter alone. They only have one touchdown, but they pass uh, 26 times in that. Um, third quarter so they're going to balance it out right there um, Jacksonville they will balance it out now in the fourth quarter um, Jacksonville uh, runs the ball um, 38 times for 270 yards they have no touchdowns but they will um, throw the ball kind of um, 63 times in a um, in a third fourth quarter game so they'll throw 63 times so look they will run 
uh, 27 times in the first quarter, but throw um, 36 times. Uh, they will throw. They will throw these. Um, but the only time they kind of don't throw uh, that many times is uh, in the third quarter. It's 26. But first, second, and fourth quarter, they will. They will constantly throw the football uh, in, in in the um, in the game. Now on first downs, let's break down this. Um, let's break this down. First downs. Um, they get 71 carries, uh, 422. So on first down, they will run the ball. And on second down, they will throw the football. So it's kind of a mixed bag right there in the first uh, quarter. Now, in the second quarter, uh, Jacksonville um, will um, throw the ball 40 times on second down, but they will run um they will run the ball on, on, on uh, first down, but second down, they will throw the ball. So they will throw the ball and run the ball. So you got to be, they got to be on their toes. The Saints has absolutely got to be on their toes. Um, on the downs and distance, because I'm going to tell you, they can burn them on those downs and distance. Now, in the um, third quarter, um, they only would carry the ball 12 times for 89 yards, but throw the ball 46 times on 27 completions. So now on third down, that is the biggest down right there uh, that the Saints have to get off the field is third down. Whether it's third and one, third and two, third and three, third and four, all the way to third and um, uh, whatever. I mean, look. You have to get off the field on third down. And the Saints defense, sometimes they don't. But they have to try. Because Jacksonville is going to give them a challenge. Jacksonville will give them a challenge. They're at home, and they're going to give them a challenge. So, um, so that is the initial breakdown on the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Um uh, now let's give you the Saints. I'm going to give you the Saints uh, initial breakdown. Okay. Um, so we got about 20. So I'm going to give you an initial breakdown on the Saints. Okay. Uh, Saints on um, first downs have 98 first downs uh, as a team. Um, they complete uh, 22 of 171 passes, uh, 1,220 yards. Eight touchdowns and four interceptions. So we have eight touchdowns and four interceptions in games. Now, we run the ball. We run the ball um, 122 times. So we run the ball 122 times. That is for 522 yards. So we get, the, we get those touchdowns on the ground as well. So that's kind of a mixed bag right there. Uh, when you look at it, we, we I look at it this way. This Saints offense comes in, look, storming, uh, getting out early, not getting the pre-snaps, and, and just um, doing what they have to do. Um, that would be the, um, um, the obvious thing. Now, the red zone offense. Red zone offense, Saints are uh, 7 to 15 in the red zone for 46%. Um, the um, Saints are 2 of 4 on fourth down, so they kind of. But third down conversion, they're um, 28 of 64, so they're at a good 43% uh, for the Saints. Now, your main guy we're going to be depending on, um, Breeze is not going to play this um, Sunday. Versus um, um, Jacksonville. Um, your injuries right here. Um, uh, Traquan Smith didn't play. Um, Chase Harrison, um, uh, non-football related injury, injury reserve. Uh, also injury reserve for uh, Alex Anzalone, um, Caden Ellis, um, Garrett Griffin. Uh, Colton uh, Jumper, um, Keith um, Kirkwood, the wide receiver. Also, Josh Martin and Cameron Tom is on the um, 
uh, week six injury reports. So, this guy right here, so Teddy Bridgewater, I'm kind of getting his numbers just coming up. I'm very impressed with um, Teddy Bridgewater. Some people, including me, kind of doubt it what uh, Bridgewater can do, but this, but um, look, he's, he's doing what he has to do, uh, Teddy Bridgewater. I mean, look. Will he be the savior for the Saints? Absolutely not. Breeze will be coming back soon. If, um, uh, if after his injury, he will be back. But Bridgewater is shown in these four games that he can um, be that um, that ba um, backup to uh, lead Breeze once um, Breeze um, either retires or um, gets injured, like he did with the thumb injury. So. Um, so we're counting on him. So now his yards, uh, he's been sacked um, seven times. He's been sacked seven times at games. But the truth of the matter is you've got to stop getting those sacks. Sure, he's starting to run. I like to see that um, consistency right there. Now, on the running game, Batavius, um, um, Alvin Kamara is starting to get um, his catches out. He's got 26 uh, catches for 241, so he's catching the football as a wide receiver. Now, Batavius Murray, Batavius Murray has um, 24 carries for 94 yards. He played um, five games. He did start one game, so um, if we can rely on... On these two running backs right here, Murray and um, Kamara. I think we're going to get Kamara. Uh, we don't want to give Kamara too much um, load on the football because I'm going to be honest with you, um, we don't want to uh, get him injured as well. We want to have uh, some stability on the um, running game. So um, we have um, uh, Kamara get um, his touches is 100. So... Um, so, and we give um, Murray some um, carries. I think we, we're going to have a two-headed monster running game um, before you know it. So, so I look at it this way. This game right here between the Saints and the um, Jaguars, just give you the point spread information. I'm going to do that, and we'll wrap this up. Okay, and we'll pull it up in a second. Get my um, Jacksonville game up. Okay, Jacksonville, I'm going to go give you uh, my point spread information. Okay, the game is, um, um, let's see, the game is one, so it's a one point um, um, and a point spread. So right now, I'm going to say this. Uh, if the Saints can come out, don't get those pre-snap penalties. Don't get those um, uh, penalties on um, uh, on the cornerbacks and stuff like, like pass interference and stuff like that. We can win this game simply. We can go okay, but um, on the road with um, three points or less, the Saints are two and four uh, against the spread. The Saints in the straight up. It's two and four. So that's numbers right there. Look, we cannot tell you this any clearer, or any simpler. Um, uh, but last three seasons, uh, Saints are eight and five uh, down the line. So I kind of look at this game now uh, scoring over um, points 42 um, to 49. Saints are 11 and three straight up and also um, 10 and four against the spread now in divisional games saints are um out of division this is out of division so um uh this is an afc game uh, versus nfc um saints are nine and four nine uh four and nine against the spread so that's the only thing against the spread they're not that good against the spread when it's uh, out of division now october game saints are eight and zero so that's good uh, to know also, and um, two or more consistent wins. Saints are uh, 16 and four. 
um, straight up in 14 to 6 um, against the spread. And also um, weeks 5 through 9, Saints are 9 to 0. Now, against the NFC um, South Division opponents like the Saints, uh, they're 6 and 11, Jacksonville, so they're not that good against the uh, NFC South. And 5 and 12 against the spread. Now, in October games, the Saints are, uh, the, uh, excuse me, the Jaguars. <laughs> I want to mess them up. The Jaguars are 2 and 7 um, straight up and 2 and 7 against the spread. Now, in nine conference games, um, the Saints, oh, I keep saying Saints. The uh, Jaguars is on um, 2 and 7. Um, And uh, Jaguars in the against the spread is two and seven. That's against um, when playing against team with winning records. Um, week five through nine, um, the Saints are um, not nah, sorry about that. Jaguars, excuse me. I'm sorry. I keep saying Saints. I always got the Saints in the brain. Uh, the Jaguars is three and six uh, straight up, and also three and six against the spread. So I kind of. Look at this game um, in a different way. Um, so, um, if the Saints can come out, I think it's a one-point favorite. They're one point in the um, uh, point spread, so I'm kind of going to give the Saints maybe a, um, uh, I say 20, 27 to maybe, um, uh 27 to 20 win 27 20 i'd say it's a seven point game for the saints so um that is um what i'm going to give you um so that's uh, my um analysis right there um on the saints and jaguars uh this concludes the um saints versus um uh, Jaguars preview. We will have a sports talk with Carrie Myers show later on this evening. Once again, like, share, and follow sports talk with Carrie Myers show. This will be uploaded to um, YouTube and Facebook. So everybody have a good evening, uh, morning. <laughs>